Good afternoon. Welcome to Vermont House Judiciary Committee. We are working on H183, an act relating to sexual violence, and we are continuing our deliberations of the bill from this morning. And we have attorney Michelle Childs here to um, speak to us about house government operations and, um, and just to do a hopefully a quick walkthrough of, um, of the bill 3.1 so we could so we could vote on it. So Michelle, thank you. Sure, hi. So uh, um, Evan, can you let me share my screen? Thank you. Um, can you see that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, great. So I'm just going to walk through uh, the, it went well in house government operations. And, um, and so I will show you, um, I'll go through their amendments again. There is a, just one thing that I forgot that I need to just make one tiny tweak on there, which I'll do when I, sh when I go through show you. So, um, so section one is the definition section. I'm not gonna necessarily go into all this because I know y'all have seen it lots of times. If you've got questions, let me know. Um, so definition section. Um, section two, amending the sexual assault statute. And, and there haven't been any changes to any of this uh, in, on the portions that you've been working on. So since the, for the last couple of versions. Section three has to do with trial procedure and consent. So listing all the different circumstances of what constitutes consent, what doesn't constitute consent. Section four is your data collection and reporting. Remember the when I went over, I think it was yesterday, but my days are all blending together. I'm not sure, but I, the last time I went over with you was the, um, the revised language on data collection and reporting. Um, and so again, no changes to that. In section five is the, uh, the Intercollegiate Sexual Violence Prevention Council. And so there you've incorpor I've incorporated all the suggested changes from house government operations. The one thing I realize I have to change is it's the, not the executive director of the independent colleges, it's a President, so. There we go. Um, so, you know, the, so you went through those, we, we tweaked that based on their recommendations as to the college appointments, the college student appointments, uh, tweaked the uh, prosecutor language and added someone from the Defender General's office. Um, made that small tweak in, in the duties with regard to, instead of using climate survey, uh, use, looking at the aggregated data that had already been collected. Limiting the uh, council to uh, four meetings, so the meeting quarterly. And then this was not in the earlier draft that I gave you because uh, the chair of GovOps had uh, texted me while I was presenting the last amendment um, and, and requested this repeal language. So at the top of page nine, um, this section of for the council would sunset in seven years. And she said that that is their standard time that they use for best practices in their committee so that their legislature is checking in and making sure that you know these types of uh, groups don't stay on the books if they kind of uh, lose their, uh, you know, people aren't meeting anymore, things like that. So there'll have to be a check-in. Um, but also remember that one of the duties of this council is to be reporting to you. So hopefully you'll be hearing from them regularly. Section seven is uh, the appropriations. So the $13,000 to the network for staffing the council, as well as uh, reimbursement of per diems and expenses for those members who aren't otherwise compensated for attending those meetings. Uh, the $40,000 for expansion of the forensic nursing program uh, to primary care providers and reproductive health 
of providers in the community. And then the effective date uh, this July, July 1st. And that's it. Is it really only 10 pages? <laughs> Great. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Michelle. Sure. Appreciate it. Um, committee members, as I mentioned, we will vote on this today because of crossover. And on Tuesday, we have scheduled um, Will DeWhite and others um, to, address, to address her concerns, um, to understand her concerns. Um, okay, any questions for, for Michelle on this draft? I, um, I can't see everybody. So if, if folks wanna jump in, if they have any questions, please go ahead. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> there you are, there's everybody. Okay. Well, good work. So I would um, entertain a motion in support of draft. So Michelle, this will be draft, it'll still be draft 3.1 with the, cause I know you just made a change while we, while you're- Yeah, just keep it as 3.1. I think if, if unless, uh, although I guess since it's posted, um, why don't you make it, vote on 3.2 and I will, I will, I just changed the draft and added president there and I'll send that to um, to uh, Evan to post, and then uh, as well as to whoever is going to report it. Um, it has been edited. It has been edited, and so it can go after you vote. It can go to the clerk's office. Okay, great. So it's three point two, and the only I just want to make sure it's everybody know follow what the one change. Okay, I just want to make sure if it's Michelle to go over it. But looks like folks are okay. Okay, great. Okay, so then um, I would entertain a motion uh, to vote favorably draft 3.2 of H183. So moved. Felicia? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Felicia was um, moved in Barbara's second or? Or that work? Yeah. Okay, great. Wonderful. Uh, okay, any discussion? No. Okay, then, uh, and Ken, if you can please call the roll. I'm not, is Tom not here? I don't see Tom. All right, well, let's, let's vote and I'll, I'll be in touch with him. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah. Colburn? Yes. Donnelly? Yes. Ghostland? Yes. Lalonde? Yes. Leffler? Yes. Norris? Yes. Not. Yes. Bar uh, Rachelson. Yes. Christy. Yes. Anybody wake verdict up yet? I text them, but. Hmm. Madam Chair. Yes. Okay, so let's if, let's hold it open. Um, see if Tom is able to join us since we do have a, another bill to work on anyway. Um, okay, wonderful, great. Well, thank you, thank you, everybody. And uh, of course, Selena has um, expressed interest in reporting it. There also are you know there are different sections within the bill, so certainly folks can talk to different different sections as well. Um, which we've done before when we've had a bill with different different sections, and then we'll we'll see what happens next week um, when we on Tuesday when we hear from from Wilda and Rory and others. 
Um, so, but it does have to go up to appropriations. Did you say Selena was was reporting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So Selena, I will email you this 3.2 uh, right now so you have it. Okay, yep. Um, and I guess I'll just need to wait for the final vote because we're leaving it open. Um, and I, if anybody does wanna, you know, co-report with me and move through different sections, I guess just let me and Maxine know. Does that sound yeah. right, Maxine? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, Selena, I also know that you need to go. So I'm just, just trying to think what's up with Tom. If anybody. I can check back in. I just have to deal with it. You know what, here he is. Here he is. Oh, okay, great. Hi, Tom. Hello, tying my tie. <laughs> okay. so we'll just, um, we just voted on 183 and, and are holding it um, open for you. Oh. It's unanimous so I, far. I figured. Um, yeah, yeah if, if you want to call my name. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Ken. Verdict. I called it three times already. No, I was thinking we were coming back at quarter after. <laughs> no worries. So is that a yes? <laughs> well, you're going yeah, uh, yeah, it's a yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Thank you, Selena. Take care. Sure thing. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Michelle. All right, great.